Then allotment was made to the people of Manasseh, for he was the firstborn of Joseph. To Machir the firstborn of Manasseh, the father of Gilead, were allotted Gilead and Bashan, because he was a man of war. And allotments were made to the rest of the people of Manasseh by their clans, Ab Abiezer, Abiezer, Helek, Asrael, Shechem, Hefer, and Shemida. These were the male descendants of Manasseh, the son of Joseph, by their clans. Now Zelophehad, the son of Hefer, son of Gilead, son of Machir, son of Manasseh, had no sons, but only daughters, and these are the names of his daughters, Mala, Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Tirzah. They approached Eleazar the priest and Joshua the son of Nun and the leaders and said, The Lord commanded Moses to give us an inheritance along with our brothers. So according to the mouth of the Lord he gave them an inheritance among the brothers of their father. Thus there fell to Manasseh ten portions, besides the land of Gilead and Bashan, which is on the other side of the Jordan, because the daughters of Manasseh received an inheritance along with his sons. The land of Gilead was allotted to the rest of the people of Manasseh. The territory of Manasseh reached from Asher to Michmethath, which is east of Shechem. Then the boundary goes along southward to the inhabitants of En Tepua. The land of Tepua belonged to Manasseh, but the town of but the town of Tepua on the boundary of Manasseh belonged to the people of Ephraim. Then the boundary went down to the brook Cana. These cities, to the south of the brook, among the cities of Manasseh, belong to Ephraim. Then the boundary of Manasseh goes on the north side of the brook and ends at the sea. The land to the south being Ephraim's and that to the north being Manasseh's with the sea forming its boundary. On the north Asher is reached, and on the east Isaacar. Also in Isaacar and in Asher Manasseh also in Isaacar and in Asher Manasseh had Beth Shean and its villages, and Ibliam and its villages, and the inhabitants of Dor and its villages, and the inhabitants of Endor and its villages and the inhabitants of Tanak and its villages, and the inhabitants of Megiddo and its villages. The third is Naphath. Yet the people of Manasseh could not take possession of those cities, but the Canaanites persisted in dwelling in that land. Now when the people of Israel grew strong, they put the Canaanites to forced labor, but did not utterly drive them out. Then the people of Joseph spoke to Joshua, saying, Why have you given me but one lot and one portion as an inheritance, although I am a numerous people, since all along the Lord has blessed me? And Joshua said to them, If you are a numerous people, go up by yourselves to the forest, and there clear ground for yourselves in the land of the Perizzites and the Rephaim, since the hill country of Ephraim is too narrow for you. The people of Joseph said, the hill country is not enough for us. Yet all the Canaanites who dwell in the plain have chariots of iron, but those in Beth Shean and its villages and those in the valley of Jezreel. Then Joshua said to the house of Joseph, to Ephraim and Manasseh, You are a numerous people and have great power. You shall not have one allotment only, but the hill country shall be yours. For though it is a forest, you shall clear it and possess it to its farthest borders. For you shall drive out the Canaanites, though they have chariots of iron, and though they are strong. Then the whole congregation of the people of Israel assembled at Shiloh and set up the tent of meeting there. The land lay subdued before them. There remained among the people of Israel seven tribes whose inheritance had not yet been apportioned. So Joshua said to the people of Israel, How long will you put off going in to take possession of the land, which the Lord, the God of your fathers, has given you? Provide three men from each tribe, 
and I will send them out that they may set out and go up and down the land. They shall write a description of it with a view to their inheritances, and then come to me. They shall divide it into seven portions. Judah shall continue in his territory on the south, and the house of Joseph shall continue in their territory on the north. And you shall describe the land in seven divisions and bring the description here to me. And I will cast lots for you here before the Lord our God. The Levites have no portion among you, for the priesthood of the Lord is their, is their heritage. And Gad and Reuben and and Gad and Reuben and half the tribe of Manasseh have received their inheritance beyond the Jordan eastward, which Moses the servant of the Lord gave them. So the men arose and went, and Joshua charged those who went to write the description of the land, saying, Go up and down in the land and write a description and return to me, and I will cast lots for you here before the Lord in Shiloh. So the men went and passed up and down in the land and wrote in a book a description of it by towns and seven divisions. Then they came to Joshua the Then they came to Joshua to the camp at Shiloh, and Joshua cast lots for them in Shiloh before the Lord. And there Joshua apportioned the land to the people of Israel, to each his portion. The lot of the tribe of the people of Benjamin according to its clans came up, and the territory allotted to it fell between the people of Judah and the people of Joseph. On the north side their boundary began at the Jordan, then the boundary goes up to the shoulder north of Jericho, then up through the hill country westward, and it ends at the wilderness of Beth Avon. From there the boundary passes along southward in the direction of Luz, to the shoulder of Luz, that is, Bethel. Then the boundary goes down to Ataroth Adar, on the mountain that lies south of lower Beth Horon. Then the boundary goes in another direction, turning on the westward. Then the boundary goes in another direction, turning on the western side southward from the mountain that lies to the south, opposite Beth Horon, and it ends at Kiriath Baal that is, Kiriath-Jerim, a city belonging to the people of Judah. This forms the western side, and the southern side begins at the outskirts of Kiriath-Jerim, and the boundary goes from there to Ephron, to the spring of the waters of Nephtoah. Then the boundary goes down to the border of the mountain that overlooks the valley of so then the boundary goes down to the border of the mountain that overlooks the valley of the son of Hinnom, which is at the north end of the valley of Rephaim. And it then goes down the valley of Hinnom, south of the shoulder of the Jebusites, and downward to En-Rogel. Then it bends in a northerly direction going on to En-Shemesh, and from there goes to Gel Gelilath, which is opposite the ascent of Adumim. Then it goes down to the stone of Bohan the son of Reuben, and passing on to the north of the shoulder of Beth Arabah, it goes down to the Araba. Then the boundary passes on to the north of the shoulder of Beth Hogla, and the boundary ends at the northern bay of the Salt Sea, at the south end of the Jordan. This is the southern border. The Jordan forms its boundary on the eastern side. This is the inheritance of the people of Benjamin, according to their clans, boundary by boundary all, all around. Now the cities of the tribe of the people of Benjamin, according to their clans, were Jericho, Beth Hogla, Emek Keziz, Beth Araba, Zemaraim, Bethel, Avim, Para, Ophra, Shephar Ammoni, Ophni, Geba, twelve cities with their villages, Gibeon, Ramah, Beeroth, Mizpeh, Shephira, Moza, Rechem, Irpil, Terala, Zela, Hyaleph, Jebus, that is Jerusalem, 
Gibeah, and Kiriath Jerim, fourteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the people of Benjamin according to its clans. The second lot came out for the second lot came out for Simeon, for the tribe of the people of Simeon, according to their clans, and their inheritance was in the midst of the inheritance of the people of Judah. And they had for their inheritance Beersheba, Sheba, Moleda, Hazar Shual, Bela, Azim, El Tolad, Bethuel, Horma, Ziklag, Beth Markaboth, Hazar Susa, Beth Labiath, and Sharuhin, thirteen cities with their villages, Ain, Rimon, Ather, and Ashan, four cities with their villages, together with all the villages around these cities as far as Balath Beer, Ramah of the Negeb. This was the inheritance of the tribe of the people of Simeon according to their clans. The inheritance of the people of Simeon formed part of the territory of the people of Judah. Because the portion of the people of Judah was too large for them, the people of Simeon obtained an inheritance in the midst of their inheritance. The third lot came up for the people of Zebulun, according to their clans, and the territory of their inheritance reached as far as Sarid. Sarid. Then their boundary goes up westward and on to Mareol and touches Debesheth, then the brook that is east of Jokneam. From Sarid it goes in the other direction eastward to from Sarid it goes in the other direction eastward toward the sunrise to the boundary of Chisloth Tabor. From there it goes to De Debereth, then up to Jephiah. From there it passes along on the east toward the sunrise to Gath Hafer, to Eth Kazan, and going on to Rimon it bends toward Nea. Then on the north the boundary turns about to Hanathon, and it ends at the valley of Iftahel, and Keta, Nahalal, Shimron, Idala, and Bethlehem, twelve cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the people of Zebulun, according to their clans, these cities with their villages. The fourth lot came out for Issachar, for the people of Issachar, according to their clans. Their territory included Jezreel, Chesaloth, Shunem, Hepharaim, Shion, Anaharath, Rabbath, Kishion, Ebez, Ramoth, in Ganem, in Hada, Beth Pezes. The boundary also touches Tabor, Shahazuma, and Beth Shemesh, and its boundary ends at the Jordan, sixteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the people of Issachar, according to their clans, the cities with their villages. The fifth lot came out for the tribe of the people of Asher according to their clans. Their territory included Helkath, Halai, Baten, Akshef, Alamelech, Amad, and Mishal. On the west it touches Carmel and Shihor Libnath. Then it turns eastward. It goes to Beth Dagon and touches Zebulun and the valley of Iftahel toward northward and touches Zebulun and the valley of Iftahel northward to Beth Emek and Naiel. Then it continues in the north to Kabul, Ebron, Rehob, Hammon, Cana, as far as Sidon the Great. Then the boundary turns to Ramah, reaching to the fortified city of Tyre. Then the boundary turns to Hosa, and it ends at the sea. Mahaleb, Akzib, Uma, Aphek, and Rehob, twenty-two cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the people of Asher according to their clans, these cities with their villages. The sixth lot came out for the people of Naphtali, for the people of Naphtali. 
The sixth lot came out for the people of Naphtali, for the people of Naphtali, according to their clans. And their boundary ran from Haleph, from the oak in Zenanim, and Adamai Nekab, and Jabneel, as far as Lakum, and it ended at the Jordan. Then the boundary turns westward to Asnoth Tabor, and goes from there to Hukok, touching Zebulun at the south, and Asher on the west, and Judah on the east at the Jordan. The fortified cities are Zidim, Zer, Hamath, Rakath, Shinareth, Adama, Rama, Hazor, Kadesh, Edrai, En Hazor, Yiron, Migdal El, Horem, Beth Anath, and Beth Shemesh, nineteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the people of Naphtali according to their clans, the cities with their villages. The seventh lot came out for the tribe of the people of Dan, according to their clans. And the territory of its inheritance included Zorah, Eshtael, Ir Shemesh, Shalaban, Ijalon, Ithla, Elon, Timna, Ekron, Elteka, Gebethon, Baalath, Jehud, Bene Barak, Gath Rimon, and May Jorkon and Rakon with the territory over against Joppa. When the territory of the people of Dan was lost to them, the people of Dan went up and fought against Lashem, and after capturing it and striking it with the sword, they took possession of it and settled in it, calling Lashem, Dan, after the name of Dan their ancestor. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the people of Dan, according to their clans, these cities with their villages. When they had finished distributing the several territories of the land as inheritances, the people of Israel gave an inheritance among them to Joshua the son of Nun. By command of the Lord they gave him the city that he asked, Timnath Serah in the hill country of Ephraim, and he rebuilt the city and settled in it. These are the inheritances that Eleazar the priest and Joshua the son of Nun and the heads of the fathers' houses of the tribes of the people of Israel distributed by Lot at Shiloh before the Lord at the entrance of the tent of meeting. So they finished dividing the land. Then the Lord said to Joshua, Say to the people of Israel, Appoint the cities of refuge, of which I spoke to you through Moses, that the manslayer who, who strikes any person without intent or unknowingly may flee there. They shall be for you a refuge from the avenger of blood. He shall flee to one of these cities and shall stand at the entrance of the gate of the city and explain his case to the elders of that city. Then they shall take him into the city and give him a place, and he shall remain with them. And if the avenger of blood pursues him, they shall not give up the manslayer into his hand, because he struck his neighbor unknowingly, and did not hate him in the past. And he shall remain in that city until he has stood before the congregation for judgment, until the death of him who is high priest at the time. Then the manslayer may return to his own town and his own home, to the town from which he fled. So they set apart Kadesh in Galilee in the hill country of Naphtali, and Shechem in the hill country of Ephraim, and Kiriath Arba, that is, Hebron, in the hill country of Judah. And beyond the Jordan east of Jericho, they appointed Bezer in the wilderness they appointed Bezer in the wilderness on the tableland, from the tribe of Reuben, and Ramoth in Gilead, from the tribe of Gad and Golad in Bashan, from the tribe of Manasseh. These were the cities designated for all the people of Israel and for the stranger sojourning among them, that anyone who killed a person without intent could flee there, so that he, mu so that he might not die by the hand of the avenger of blood till he stood before the congregation. 
Then the heads of the fathers' houses of the Levites came to Eleazar the priest, and to Joshua the son of Nun, and to the heads of the fathers' houses of the tribes of the people of Israel. And they said to them at Shiloh in the land of Canaan, The Lord commanded through Moses that we be given cities to dwell in, along with their pasture lands for our livestock. So by command of the Lord the people of Israel gave to the Levites the following cities and pasture lands out of their inheritance. The lot came out for the clans of the Kohathites. So those Levites who were descendants of Aaron the priest received by lot from the tribes of Judah, Simeon, and Benjamin, thirteen cities. And the rest of the Kohathites received by lot from the clans of the tribe of Ephraim, from the tribe of Dan and the half-tribe of Manasseh, ten cities. The Gershonites received by lot from the clans of the tribe of Issachar, from the tribe of Asher, from the tribe of Naphtali, and from the half-tribe of Manasseh in Bashan, thirteen cities. The Merarites, according to their clans, received from the tribe of Reuben, the tribe of Gad, and the tribe of Zebulun, twelve cities. These cities and their pasture lands the people of Israel gave by lot to the Levites, as the Lord had commanded through Moses. Out of the tribe of the people of Judah and the tribe of the people of Simeon they gave the following cities mentioned by name, which went to the descendants of, to the descendants of Aaron, one of the clans of the Kohathites who belonged to the people of Levi, since the lot fell to them first. They gave them Kiriath Arba, Arba being the father of Anak, that is Hebron, in the hill country of Judah, along with the pasture lands around it. But the fields of the city and its villages had been given to Caleb the son of Jephunneh as his possession. And to the descendants of Aaron the priest they gave Hebron, the city of refuge for the manslayer, with its pasture lands. Libna with its pasture lands, Jatir with its pasture lands, Esh Eshtemoa with its pasture lands, Holon with its pasture lands, Debir with its pasture lands, Ain with its pasture lands, Jutel with its pasture lands, Beth Shemesh with its pasture lands, nine cities out of these two tribes, then out of the tribe of Benjamin, Gibeon with its pasture lands. Geba with its pasture lands, Anathoth with its pasture lands, and Almon with its pasture lands, four cities. The cities of the descendants of Aaron, the priests, were in all thirteen cities with their pasture lands. As to the rest of the Kohathites belonging to the Kohathite clans of the Levites, the cities allotted to them were out of the tribe of Ephraim. To them were given Shechem, the city of refuge for the manslayer, with its pasture lands in the hill country of Ephraim, Gezer with its pasture lands, Kibzaim with its pasture lands, Beth Horon with its pasture lands, four cities, and out of the tribe of Dan, El Teka with its pasture lands, Gibethon with its pasture lands, Ijalon with its pasture lands, Gath Rimon with its pasture lands four cities, and out of the half-tribe of Manasseh, Tanakh with its pasture lands, and Gath Rimon with its pasture lands, two cities. The cities of the clans of the rest of the Kohathites were ten in all with their pasture lands. And to the Gershonites, one of the clans of the Levites, were given out of the half-tribe of Manasseh, Golan and Bashan with its pasture lands the city of refuge for the manslayer, and Bish, Bishtera with its pasture lands, two cities, and out of the tribe of Issachar, Kishion with its pasture lands, Deberath with its pasture lands, Jarmuth with its pasture lands, and Ganem with its pasture lands, four cities, and out of the tribe of Asher, Mishal with its pasture lands, Abdon with its pasture lands, Helkath with its pasture lands, and Rehob with its pasture lands, four cities. And out of the tribe of Naphtali,
Kadesh in Galilee with its pasture lands, the city of refuge for the manslayer, Hamoth Dor with its pasture lands, and Kartan with its pasture lands, three cities. The cities of the several clans of the Gershonites were in all thirteen cities with their pasture lands. And to the rest of the Levites, the Merarite clans, were given out of the tribe of Zebulun, Jokneam with its pasture lands, Karta with its pasture lands, Dimna with its pasture lands, Nahalal with its pasture lands, four cities. And out of the tribe of Reuben, Bezer with its pasture lands, Jahaz with its pasture lands, Kedemoth with its pasture lands, and Maphath with its pasture lands, four cities. And out of the tribe of Gad, Ramoth and Gilead with its pasture lands, the city of refuge for the manslayer, Mahanaim with its pasture lands, Heshbon with its pasture lands, Jazer with its pasture lands, four cities in all. As for the cities of the several Merarite clans, that is, the remainder of the clans of the Levites, those allotted to them were in all twelve cities. The cities of the Levites in the midst of the possession of the people of Israel were in all forty-eight cities with their pasture lands. These cities each had its pasture lands around it. So it was with all these cities. Thus the Lord gave to Israel all the land that he swore to give to their fathers, and they took possession of it, and they settled there. And the Lord gave them rest on every side just as he had sworn to their fathers. Not one of all their enemies had withstood them, for the Lord had given all their enemies into their hands. Not one word of all the good promises that the Lord had made to the house of Israel had failed. All came to pass.